hey, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how my roof rack system looks like and also how I load it. Stay tuned. So everyone's car is different. Uh, for my car, the distance between the crossbars is fixed. And also I'm doing this for a specific kayak, which is a hobby sport. So I have some constraints in terms of the shape of the hole. So in order to fit the kayak to the rack, it was easier for me to flip the kayak and lay down on the floor, then put everything on top of the kayak. What I have here is a Yakima showboat roof rack system and also the Thule uh, kayak saddle. Um, I also added a couple of PVC pipes. Uh, these are the Schedule 40, the great ones. I didn't use the white one because they are, they are thinner and also they don't look as good. So here is a picture that shows the drain cover is hitting the PVC pipe. So I had to cut a hole to fit that drain cover. I also cut a hole at where the PVC pipe touches the crossbar so that the PVC pipe will sit on the crossbar more stably. Here is a picture of how I fix the pipes to the crossbars. The punched flat bar comes in 72 inches and I had to cut it to pieces. Here I also add a piece of flat bar inside the pipe so the nuts are not just sitting against the pipe. Here's the final product. Uh, I will show you how I load and unload to the car. My car is a 2020 Subaru Outback. The adjustable stock crossbars are attached to the car with two screws and two latches. Since I connected the kayak roof rack to the crossbars, the whole thing becomes a big structure. And it's kind of awkward to load or unload even with two people. So I built this uh, electric hoist system on the garage ceiling. And this thing can hold 400 pounds, so sometimes I even load it with the kayak on the rack. To attach the rack to the hoist, I just use the straps. I also put some plastic lids under the latches. This is to prevent the latch falling into the connection assembly and locking itself before I lift the rack. I've seen people use the electric winch system instead of the electric hoist for this operation. I wouldn't recommend that because most of the winches are designed to pull, not to lift. They may not have a proper braking system. Here's another look when it's on the ground. As you can see, it's a big structure. With this system, it's easy to load and unload, say if I want to go to a car wash or something. Let's watch it loading one more time. I use the blue tapes to mark the floor, so when I back up the car, I can see the mark from the backup camera so I know when to stop. I have another video showing how I load the kayak, so remember to check it out. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Peace!